Hey guys, welcome back to the most impossible channel to find, you ninja you. This is the Bepot version, and today I thought I would show you how I am prepping for a mini Let's Play that I'm going to do. So, I just got the Vampires pack, which everyone has a Let's Play about vampires, and it's nothing new. Um, but what I want to do is I want to... Uh, Count Vlad, which I think is a really important character. Um, I am going to try to find him on the gal- Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to try to find him on the gallery and implement him into my game that way. And then I'm going to edit his character to look like someone else. So that I'll probably get rid of that girl because I don't know who she is. Is. Or maybe, you know what? I'll keep her. She's kind of cute. I'm missing spa day stuff, fitness. Oh gosh, I'm missing a lot. Can I put him there? Yeah. Oh, I feel bad I left him with so little money. Okay. Alrighty, and then I am going to go into here and just play. He looks a lot more skinny and sickly in real life. No, don't leave. I need you. Oh dear, you are scary. Just <coughs> oh gosh, my dog just stopped eating her bone. So, the household I want to replace them with is the Malfoys. Hmm. See, I was looking for something more like this, but even this, oh, maybe like here. This is kind of what I was hoping for. I just want these two characters. I'll get rid of, um, oh, I even forgot his name. That's, oh, Lucius. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. So, Lucius, Draco, and get you new hair, dude. Okay, bye, Lucius. I am a Harry Potter fan, I promise. Okay, you can stay pasty, that's fine. Let's get you a long hairdo. Oh, yeah, stop that crap. <gasps> yes! Yeah, oh, dang it, he can't match his wife. Let's see. Something like that. I think that's the one we're gonna go with, unless they magically have. I wonder what this one would look like. Oop. With white hair. Let me zoom out. You know what? I kind of like. I wish those ends didn't look like that. No. So scary. You know, I think I'm gonna go with that. I think that's even what the other guy had. Oh my goodness, I'm so not used to the vampire stuff. Okay, so he needs a little bit more of a jawline. Actually, I should have started with bald. Why do I never learn? Oh, this isn't going to go very well. So the chin has to go back up. But I like that nice, that nice jawline. And then his nose isn't as... Hmm. Isn't as protrudy. Well, that didn't go very well. Let's try a preset. Nope. Nope. Okay, that'll do for now. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Why do I always. Why do I always have to sneeze? Whatever I'm playing. I did just have nasal surgery. I like that his mouth is like permanently upside down. Although this facial hair has got to go. Sorry, Mr. Malfoy is clean shaven. And he has like a furrow in between his brow, like a permanent furrow. Um, I'm gonna go with these, no. Why are these arched so much? I don't want them so dramatic. Uh, so most YouTubers kind of, you know what? I'm gonna go with that. That's not too, too shabby on the eyebrows. Most YouTubers um, kind of do this stuff behind the scenes and like whatever, like live your life. Um, but I wanted to show what I'm doing forthright, I guess. Um, just to kind of let people know like 
I don't know. Kind of let you guys in on it. This nose isn't right, but okay. We're going to go do some face detailing. That's not... There we go. <clears throat> Vampire art. Oh, I haven't even seen this one yet. Skin details. Yes to that one. Would have laugh lines, but let's just see what he looks like without them. Yeah, I don't really think he'd have laugh lines, so that works for me. I was hoping for some kind of brow furrowing, but... Okay, these lips need to be a little bit more pink. No, I wanted to go into makeup. I wish there was a little bit... I need to... Oh, hey. I was just going to say, I need to download a lip mod. Here, here we go. Oh, those look way too feminine. Do they look a little too pouty? It's it's this. It's the top lip doesn't look. That'll, that'll suffice. What if I... No. Let's undo that immediately. Mm, that'll do. Okay, and then I need to go into edit detail mode, right? To be able to drag those down a little bit. I mean, obviously I'm not the best in, uh... In editing Sims, but... I try. I try. Yeah, I think that will do. I wish his skin wasn't as pasty. Evil, music lover, and a loner. We're going to go ahead and fix these two. I thought about this last night as I was falling asleep. We're going to go with evil, snob, and was it materialistic? I don't even know if that's one. Yeah, that's not even one. I just pulled that out of my head. I was like, he's very materialistic. So we'll go ahead. I think the next one will be mean. Oh yeah, materialistic. Can admire and brag about the possessions and become sad when they haven't purchased a new item in a long period of time. Okay, so is he this? A snob can critique the work on low quality items and are bored by low brow television and gain confidence around other snob sims. I mean, yes, but he's also very mean. These sims become happy when being mean or mischievous to others and become confident after winning a fight. I mean, obviously he's evil. These sims become happy around sims with negative moodlets. Laugh maniacally. Okay, let's see where his wife is at. She's a snob, mean, and family-oriented. <sighs> Okay, let's go ahead and cancel that one out. Even though I do think she's family-oriented. Um, oh, self-assured would be an... Oh, why are there so many good ones? We are going to make her mean. Yeah, she's not very evil. He is a snob, gloomy... Nope. He is... Self-assured. And mean. I don't think I'm going to give him the evil characteristic. Oh, but I should give him some clothes while I'm at it. <laughs> no, right there. Um, Let's see, what would he wear? Oh, definitely not. He'd have like a green. No. I don't really care too much what he's wearing. <laughs> oh, dear. So I've been listening to a lot of Jordan Peterson, which if you haven't heard of him, where have you been? <laughs> um, he is, oh, I don't even know what to call him. Actually, I might even just look that up as well. Let's see how I can multitask. Nope, can't multitask. Jordan Peterson. According to Wikipedia, Jordan Bernd Peterson is a Canadian clinical psychologist and a professor of psychology at the University of Toronto. There we go. <laughs> and he produces YouTube videos. And I was listening to one of his last night, and he was talking about um, how there is a very big... You know what? Those are going to have to do. I mean, they're super short, but they're the only ones that I can actually see him wearing. He was talking about how there's a huge drive right now for non-edited videos out on the internet, which is A-OK -okay with me because, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Um, because I don't really like to edit. That's his summer wear. I mean, he's literally, I don't care if he dies. I don't care. 
he'll be fine. I just wish this outfit I could trade. Mm. I don't even know how to begin to do that. Okay, going back to Faja. So his skin is definitely going to have to change, even though uh, I can defini definitely relate. Vampire eyebrows. Yes. So we don't want him to be that white. We want him to... Oh, that looks super yellow compared to this. That was quite shocking. Let me check this. Nope. Okay, this one it is. Very pale, pasty skin. These eyebrows, I didn't even think about it. Maybe we should make them a little bit... Well, even in the, the movies, I feel like he has, like, darker... Not that dark, obviously, but... A little bit darker eyebrows in comparison, but none of these eyebrow colors I like. You know, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go with those ones. Okay, let's go ahead and hear him up. <laughs> okay, this is outfit number one, and I like it, but I don't want him to be confused with other Vlad. So, shake this up. Oh! I quite like that. Wish there was a green one. I know I can't have everything, but... He can't wear red because that's Gryffindor. He can't wear blue because that's Ravenclaw. This looks very promising. Oh, they have a green one. Oh, yes, this is the one that uh, Malfoy was wearing for his formal wear. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna stay with that one. That one's gonna be his every day. Um, his formal wear. Let's do this guy. Oh, he just... Pfft. I just did the same one twice. It's fine. At least I'm consistent. He wears that to sleep with bunny slippers. That's adorable. That is so cute. Okay, moving forward. Whoa. Seriously? <laughs> oh my gosh, lad, you're crazy. Okay. Oh, dang it. We didn't finish his traits. Okay. Evil, materialistic, and then I just need to decide if being mean really makes him happy or if, you know, I think I'm going to go with slob, because, snob, not slob, um, because he does, he's very about the low brow, um, that's tie in with the, um, why he doesn't like the Weasleys, but to be honest, Oh, maybe they're like the same trait, but they're not. Because the Weasleys are not low brow. They're actually high brow. They're pure bloods. But it's their money that he doesn't like. So that makes sense. And then the snob, low brow. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to, I'm changing my mind last second. He's going to be mean. Evil, mean, and materialistic. I will take that. Okay, he wants to be a master vampire. If I ever play them, I'll probably just adopt a stray because I am such a sucker for strays. I can't believe he's a teenager. I feel like his other counterparts, um, I feel like Harry Potter is an adult, but we'll go for it. <sighs> oh, shoot. I forgot to edit their relationship. Dying it. I'm gonna have to go do that. I totally forgot. This is his wife and this is his son. Okay. There we go. Oh! You know, I'm super happy that I accident. Okay, this. All things happen for a reason. This made me super happy. Okay. So we're gonna have to unvladify you. Ooh, that spun really fast. Just to reiterate, I am on a laptop, which I feel like has its own set of struggles and. Oh my gosh, I didn't even change his eyes. I need to do that too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, bigger. Here we go. And then less of an arch. Oh, I need to... Oh my gosh. I promise I know how to play. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Now the skin tone, I'm okay with being a little bit more white. Am I okay with it being a little more white? Maybe I'm going to give him more gray skin just so he's 100% different from Vlad. Um, we don't want to confuse anyone. Ow. Okay, now we're definitely done. Good. Yay. Okay. Okay, we're back for real this time. Wait a second. We're missing Lucius.
presents tomorrow. You do not deserve presents. Okay, and then the rest is going to be in build mode. I love, love, love the layout of the house already. I took a oop. I took a quick glance at it before um, I started filming. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Why am I saying that? Oh, oh, it's because I've seen other Let's Plays. I'm like, because I've recognized it. I haven't been in here before. Okay. Yeah, so I've seen other Let's Plays. So I think it would be fun to kind of shake up some of this stuff. Okay, maybe then do this. So, like, make it the same, but, like, a different color. That way it doesn't take me ten years, but it's still different. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing, like, how to cheat at The Sims to make it look like you did a ton of stuff, but in reality... <laughs> Oh, and none of this can be read. Dang it. Okay, so ready to talk about something super disgusting. If you don't like talking about... Um, if you don't like talking about certain times of the month, maybe you should turn down your music for... Or your, your sound for a little bit. But um, So I've always had this super big question in my head. Because I grew up with Twilight being, like, super awesome. Like, not a lot of people hated on it like they do now. Um, they just, everyone read it. Like, everyone read Twilight. I remember one of my friends telling me, and she gave the worst description possible. She said, you have to read this book. It's about a boy who is a vampire, and he stalks this girl and they fall in love, you need to read it. And I was like, what? No. And uh, the author of it is actually in my religion. And so my mom decided that it would be a great book for me to read and support someone in my religion. So, so that's, oh no, I wanted that one. So I started reading it because of that. Um, and one question that I always had, oh, it's in number two. When she falls against, um, there's like a back, uh, a glass table or candles or something. And she falls down and cuts herself. And then her brother-in-law almost kills her or something like that. And I was always super, super confused because, as everyone knows, once a month, um, girls probably smell a lot like blood. And so I always debated, like how they would get around that. Oh my gosh, that's a green one. I always wondered how they would get around that. Um, if it was a different type of scent or because they're, they're literally in high school, which means they're surrounded by girls going through puberty. So I never, ever understood that. If you can't be around her because she smells like blood, then there literally has to be one one time every month where you can't be around her anymore. I did different ones. That's annoying. Which one did I do? There we go. It's turning into very a very white house. So this will be Narcissa and Narcissa's room. And then that'll be Malfoy's room. Although it does not look like a... Not that boys can't wear purple. I'm not saying that. But let's go ahead and... No, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and change those colors really quick. Okay. Oh, there's like a whole room up here that does nothing. Oh my gosh, do you know what I just realized? I said that that would be Narcissa and uh, Lucius's room, but he's a vampire, so he's not going to be sleeping in a bed anyways. I'm super smart. <sighs> okay, what is this door to? Literally to nothing? Where does it go? It literally goes out to the worst balcony ever. What? Am I missing something? No, it's literally just to look pretty. That is so... Okay. I won't be judgmental. Okay, and then the basement. Oh, see here? Here's what I was thinking. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Can't control my zoom in, zoom out. I'm so happy that these have a green color. Oh, we can't have these Gryffindor signs. Not on my watch. Okay, I think we're done a Rooney. Yay! All right, 
and my sims are now ready well they're well, let's see they're now ready to let my sims cut what i don't know what i'm trying to say my sims are gonna turn into a vampire that's what i'm trying to say gosh oh what is all this little like brambly stuff this is new i like that oh it is called bramble <laughs> i'm amazing Stuff. Oh, dang it, I left the toilet red, but I guess that's okay. They can go to the bathroom in red. That actually makes a lot of sense. Insult? Do not insult your father. He will smack the living crud out of you, you crazy. Gosh. Give a pep talk to your dad. I should have made her hair more white. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.